Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Psalms 37, verse 23 and 24. If the Lord delights in a man's way, he makes his steps firm. Though he stumbles, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hands. If the Lord delights in us, in our steps, in our ways, in the way that we are living our lives, then he will make our steps firm so that we don't stumble, we don't fall. If ever we stumble, friends, we shall not fall because we are not told that he will uphold us with his righteous right hand. What a way, friends, to be blessed by the Lord when he delights in us. And definitely, friends, he delights in us when we also delight in him. Because in verse 4, we are told that if we delight in the Lord, He will grant even the desires of our hearts. So friends, it's so important then that we delight in Him, that He may delight also in us. And when He delights in us, friends, then He will lead us to that good and perfect plan of Him. Yes, there will be struggles along the way. There will be challenges along the way. And yet we are told, friends, that every step that we take, well, it will be a firm step. Amen. It will lead us for sure to that which is good for each one of us. And again, as mentioned, friends, there will be times when we stumble. Yes, there will be times when we feel weak. But in those times, He will not let us fall. Hallelujah. Rather, He will be quick to extend a mighty hand to uphold us and to help us because he will always be there friends to be our ever present help when we need him and therefore let us delight in him amen let us serve the lord faithfully let us worship him let him guide us let us put our faith and trust in him because again in the book of proverbs we are told friends that trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding in all your ways Acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. See, if we acknowledge Him in our ways, then He will be delighted, so delighted, friends, that He will make our steps firm. Amen. So, if you consider all these promises of the Lord, well, it's good, friends, to always be in the presence of God, delighting in Him day and night, because we know that He will always be there with us. To guide us hallelujah remember friends that our step is very very critical in us achieving the goal of our lives because in that step friends we could sleep we could fall see or we can take another a step that will lead us far from uh, from the desires even of our hearts if the lord is not directing us but knowing, friends, that He knows also our desire, well, He will direct us in our path. That's why He said that in all your ways, acknowledge Him. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Amen. Let us continue to be guided by Him. And then we are told that in all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. Lord, direct our path as we acknowledge you today. Amen. So what are your plans today? What are you desiring today? Friends, why don't you acknowledge the Lord in that desire that you got? Amen. Delight in the Lord. Go before Him and say, Lord, this is my desire. And then pour out your praises. Pour out your heart to God. Amen. Let Him delight in you, friends, that He may direct your steps. Hallelujah. So my prayer is that you be blessed today. May the Lord make your steps firm. And if ever you are in that position where you are stumbling, friends, that the Lord will extend His mighty hands to uphold you so that you don't fall. Amen. May the Lord sustain you through and through. So today, be blessed with the desires of your heart. Be blessed with the healing of your body. Be blessed in your job. Amen. In the struggles that you're in, may the Lord direct your steps so that you can make 
a step way uh, uh, that step that will lead you away from the struggle amen so friends stay blessed today may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his step god bless see you next time